Hey students, what's up? It's me, Seth. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use your Google Calendar to help set up some great routines in your life. Now, why would you even want to do that, students? So most of you are middle, high school, or college it's students who cool. watch my stuff. Why would you want to set up routines? Here's why. The main reason is because you want to have a great life, not a mediocre life, definitely not a bad life and a bad future with limited choices. You want a future where you have unlimited possibilities, choices, opportunities to create a high quality of life. Okay, cool. You know that. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that you and me and the students that I work with who struggle with executive function, we struggle to implement routines and habits that will help us get there. So what we tend to do is we procrastinate. We're not motivated. I don't feel like it. Why do I have to do this? This is stupid. I'll do it in five minutes. I'll do it tomorrow. Leave me alone, everybody. I've got this. But evidence shows that we don't have it. What happens is that we lie to ourselves. We intend, we have good intentions, but we often don't follow through to do what needs to be done to put the things in place to create that great future. So what I want you to think about is this. Your life is like a garden. And what I mean by that is that you want to be planting seeds for things that are fruitful, for things that are nutritious, for things that are going to bring value to your life, sustain you, give you nourishment, uh, make you feel healthy and alive and vibrant. What you don't want to do is if you let your garden just go, weeds are going to take over. And once weeds start to take over, and think about weeds in life. Weeds in life are going to be bad relationships, bad career, bad jobs, feeling bad about yourself, anxiety, depression, struggles, financial problems. Now, at your age, if you're in middle, high school, or college, it might be hard to see that far. But that is what's coming. You want to plant seeds for a good life, an exceptional life a life with those choices and possibilities and opportunities. So building habits and routines is critical. How do we do that? It's not easy. If you were somebody with great executive function, people who have great executive function, it's way easier for them. They have way more motivation. They don't procrastinate as much. They're able to see their goals and implement them. What we do is we drag our feet and we cause problems for ourselves. We get way behind. We get overwhelmed. We get give up, say, I don't even want to try. It's too much. It's a big mountain to climb. So we need to start building routines. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Google Calendar to build in some routines in a really easy way. My name is Seth Perler. I'm an executive function coach in Colorado. If you like this video or what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment on YouTube, share this with people, whatever you want. I'm right there, Seth Perler. Check out my blog if you want. All right. So what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and open up. Um, what I want you to do is go ahead and open up your Google Calendar. Your Google Calendar will look something like this. Now, at this point, it highlights the day that is today. And you should have some different categories in here. I get my kids, my students, I work with middle, high school, and college, set up with usually school, category, fun, family, fun, important. Um, then these two are defaulted. And then wellness. That's what I usually do. And what we're going to do here today is I'm going to show you how to set up a couple routines, a morning routine and an evening routine. And in wellness, that's where I'm going to put the category. If you look at what I have in wellness already, I have some workouts in wellness, working out on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Okay, So maybe you have that in wellness. But let's go ahead and let's turn on the school one because I made a dummy one for you. Now, this here, let's say that you had 9 a.m. was L.A., then a focused study time, sign, whatever. Let's say this was your schedule. What I did here is I made two, um, I made a morning routine and a bedtime routine. So what you want to do first is you want to go in and start a new category. And like I said, we are going to turn this one into wellness. And then you want to type in you know, morning routine or whatever you want to type in. This is where we're going to get started. And then we're going to add the description of what that is here. But I already created one for you so that you can look at what I did, pause the video, and you can create your own right now. So this one I'm going to trash. I'm going to discard that. And let's take a look at this one here. This is the morning routine. And I'm going to open it up into the editor view just because it's easier to see. So what I said is, let's say the morning routine starts at 8 o'clock in this case. Let's say we have school, but I want to change it to wellness. And then what do I want to do? Let's say at 8 a.m. I want to wake up. 
Then I next thing I want to do is I want to brush my teeth. Maybe I forget to brush my teeth sometimes. A lot of my students go through that, so they're not in the routine of that. So if that's something you need to remember to do, put that on your routine. Maybe the next thing I'm going to do is stretch for five minutes. Then I'm going to do 15 push-ups. Then I'm going to go run a mile, which takes me about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to do 15 more push-ups when I get home. So I got... I started my day with a great little workout that really only took about a half hour and that's it. So I brushed my teeth. I did a micro workout to start my day in an awesome, healthy way. Super easy, super quick. Then I hop in the shower. Then I might do stillness. Now what Seth does, I do meditation. Just I like to get still and sit still and start my day with positivity in some way. So after I hop out of the shower, I can sit down close my eyes, have some stillness and some meditation time. Then I can eat a healthy breakfast. Then these are just reminders. Have an awesome day, bring good everywhere I go, be present with people and push myself positively. Those might be things that Seth would want to remember and have a reminder of in looking at my morning routine. And let's say that that's my morning routine. I like it. What I'm going to do here, so if I save this morning routine, and you, I'm going to turn off, uh, first I'm going to change the bedtime routine, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to change this one to wellness. And I'm going to turn off this school one here, just to clean up the calendar to show you what we got here. What I'm going to do here with the morning routine is I'm going to go back into it, and I am going to repeat it daily. And I'm going to change the color here to red. Why? Here's why. If I save it, all these red dots here, mean that I didn't do the morning routine. Let's say I did my morning routine today and I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe it wasn't perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. I might then change it to green. What's cool about that is on the Google Calendar, I can see that this is now green and that I accomplished my goal of doing my morning routine on this day. These days I haven't. It's red. That's annoying to me. So I want to do my morning routine so that um, so that it's not annoying to me and I see visibly, I can see the progress that I'm making. That's real important for you and I, for people who struggle with executive function to have visual progress trackers. Um, so anyhow, you can go as crazy as you want with your morning routine. Let's say you had a bedtime routine. In this case, I met a bedtime routine. I say 9 p.m. is a digital shutdown. So for me, my digital shutdown means that I turn off my computer completely. I do a shutdown. I don't just close it. I do not charge it anywhere near where I sleep. So you typically don't want to have the electronics near you. You don't want the temptation. When you sleep, you want to sleep, or at least I do. I don't want the distraction. So charge it in the living room or wherever. So do a digital sundown. And then I turn off my phone completely, literally off, not airplane mode, off. And I don't use the alarm on my phone. A lot of people will say, oh, I need my phone because of the alarm. I can't do that I because the phone is too tempting to go and check in the middle of the night if I wake up. So I set your alarm wherever you want, but I don't use it. Um, I use a separate alarm personally. Um, anyhow, 9 p.m., let's say is your digital sundown. Then... I would take some time to review my day and do a temperature check. What does that look like? Hey, Seth, how's my day on a 1 to 10? Okay, it was an 8. Great. What would make it a 9? I always ask what would make it one point higher. Oh, it would be a 9 if I um, had gotten uh, to sleep earlier the night before. I'd feel more rested today. Or it would be a 9 if I connected more with people today. Or if I apologized for something that I don't feel good about. Or if I, you know, focused a little more on my goals and not so much on distractions, whatever. What would make your time? So review your day after that. So you do a shutdown, sit down, get some stillness, review your day. Imagine and plan your next day for five minutes. Then brush your teeth. Then do some breath work. So I do something called two-stage uh, breath. Um, maybe you do some breath work. And then read something for fun before you go to sleep and then try to be asleep by 1030. That might be a bedtime routine. Again, you can do the routines any way you want. I'm just showing you a good example of what you might want to do. Now you can do fitness routines, homework routines, wake up routines, bedtime routines, um, whatever. If you have goals or hobbies or dreams or things you're working towards or decluttering, let's say you're trying to declutter your life, declutter your inbox, whatever the things are, building these routines, we don't do it just by wishing it. 
we have to make it real. And using your Google Calendar like this is a great way to make your routines real so that you see them every day, you read them every day, you refine them and change them and make them better whenever you want. But you make them more real when you do something like this. Now, another thing that I often do is with certain routines, I will print something and put it on the wall. So if I'm doing a new fitness routine or a new hiking routine or whatever, um, I will put it on the wall. Sometimes I'll put on, I have a giant wall calendar. Um, so there are so many ways to do this, but you have to make it real. You can't just keep it in here. Why? Because you and I don't follow through with it. We forget that we have the routine. We have good intentions, but we need to make it real. Okay, one last thing I'm going to show you. If you look here, this is where your Google Keep is. If you open your Google Keep with this button here, Google Keep associated with your Google account, will go here. I showed you guys how to do this last week, but what I want to show you more here is I took the routine, the, the morning routine here, and I just cut and pasted it, it into um, Google Calendar just or Google Keep just to show you that you could also do this on Google Keep. So let's say I had my morning routine. I wanted to use Google Keep in addition to my calendar or separately from my calendar. It's just another good way to do it. Let's say I did three sets of push-ups. I'm done. Let's say I did my sit-ups. I'm done. Let's say I uh, woke up at eight. I'm done. I brushed my teeth. I did some stretching, whatever my routine was. If you notice here on the bottom, it crosses them out. It's really cool. And you can uncross them out at the end of the day to reset your routine right there. So anyhow, it's just a really powerful way to reinforce. You don't want to use a million systems, but um, so I don't want to complicate things for you. I want you to do something that's actually realistic and doable. But anyhow, that's all I got for you. My name is Seth Perler. I'm an executive function coach in Colorado. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. What do you think? What do you do to implement your routines? Do you have any tips that we didn't think of here that you could add to help other people who are watching this? What are some of your ideas? Or what gets you stuck on your routines? What, what gets in your own way? What the stories do you have in your own head that keep you procrastinating? Add them below. Let us know. I hope you're well, safe, healthy, happy. I hope you have some peace of mind today. And I hope you connect with some people today. Take care.